All right, so what we're going to do for this second part of class is we're going to go through story problems and figure out are we going to use the law of sines or law of cosines. Now, this problem is a little tricky here. I'm going to go through how this normally looks like and then how this would sometimes look like. So this used to be an activity I would do with my students is we would go outside and we would build these little protractor measuring pool things and we would say, how tall is a flagpole? And we would go and we'd figure it out. The assumption we're doing when we make that is that the flagpole is going off the ground at 90 degree angle and that the ground is flat. If that were the case, it would look like this. Here's the power line, and it's making a 90 degree angle. Now we're told that the angle right here is 62 degrees. That would be in a perfect world where everything was level. However, it tells us that's not the case. How much is the road slanting down? 10 degrees. So the road, instead of looking like this, is going to go and go like that. Now, what is that going to do to our right angle? It's now not 90 degrees. It's, ooh, let's think in our minds. Is that going to make the angle bigger or smaller? If I'm going to add 10 degrees, is that angle a or obtuse? What does acute and obtuse mean? Obtuse is bigger than 90, acute is smaller. But you can see, yeah, this angle right here, it's actually a little bit bigger than 90. How much bigger than 90 is it? 10 degrees. So this angle is 100 degrees. All right, now let's think about this 62 degree angle. I'm going to go like that. Is that going to make the 62 bigger or smaller? Smaller by how much? 10 degrees. So that angle right here is going to be 62 minus 10, which is 52. Now, how are we going to figure out that third angle? Say that a little louder there, Allie. Uh huh. So I'm going to do 180 minus both the angles, which is 152, which is what? Is that 28 or 38? I think it's 28. Now, that should make sense because if I'm looking at this picture right here, what is the relationship between these two angles here? These need to add up to 180. So what's six, six, uh, 180 minus 62? And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take off this chunk right there is 90 degrees. So if I take that off, I get 28. So there's two ways I could figure that angle. Either way, it's all working out here. So let me redraw my picture now, OK? So now when I redraw this triangle, because it's a little uh, crammed in that space there, it's a little, have a little more space. I've got 100, I've got 52, and now we've got 28. Now the only side length I'm given is right here, that the length of the shadow is 14.5. Is that enough information for us to solve for the height of the pole? Cool. Turn to your neighbor. Is this a law of science question or is a law of cosines question? What do you think, Adam? Law of science, law of cosines. It is law of science. How did you know that? It was just a good yeah. guess. You heard it muttering in the background. Someone said law of science. Well, so remember, to use law of science, we need to know the side and angle of a letter. Is there an angle and side combination we know out there? I think if we label it, this is A, this is B, and this is C. So what letter do we know both the side and angle of? C, and which one are we trying to find? A, so I want to set this up. We know C, or actually we do what we find first. Sorry, let me do that first. We're trying to find which letter? A, and we know C. So 
are we finding sides or angles to what goes on top? So I'm going to do A over sine of A equals C over sine of C. When I plug that in, I don't know what A is. That's going to be our variable X. But what is angle A? Okay. Side C is 14.5. What is angle C? All right, now we've gone over law of sines before. Does it make sense how we set that up? We knew what we're trying to find. This is we were able to know both the side and angle of C. We're solving for a side, so we put sides on top. Great, now we just want to solve for x. What would I need to do on both sides? Okay, will you go ahead and plug that into your calculator? Let me know what that gives you. Twenty-four point three, and that is feet. In the context of the problem, does that seem to make sense? If this shadow right here is fourteen point five, that the pole is twenty-four. Yeah, that seems to make sense because the angle of C is the smallest angle, so that side should be smaller. Cool. Does that make sense? How to do that problem? Cool. Now let's go to two story problems here. Um, let me bring in, jump out of here, give me a second. This is going to be now going to, uh, I gave you this page already. It's this one right here. Does everyone have that? I'm going to pull it up real quick. This is Jack and Sally. I need a reader to read through this. But it's got to be someone who can re read it in a dramatic fashion. I don't want anyone to be like, I want you to actually like read it cool, okay? Who's a good reader? Josh, go ahead and read that for us. Jack and Sally were out for a little band trip in the water one evening. As the full moon began to shine, Jack started to turn to the werewolf. Jack knew that Sally would need to get at least 100 yards away think? Is that a good story problem? Okay, sorry, I'm like pulling this into over here. Yes, sir. All right. He, he forgot it was going to be one of these uh, full moon nights, right? He should have had it. Yeah, you're right. Oh, come on, that's not the one I wanted. Darn it. That's a homework. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I thought I had this pulled up, but I didn't. All right, so first thing, what are we going to need to do here, guys? Okay, what am I going to draw a picture of? So we're going to start off by drawing Jack and Sally out on a date. So here is Jack. And here's Sally. They're holding hands. It's romantic. <laughs> and then, in the distance, the moon peeks over the clouds. And what happens? It looks like a sun, but it's moon. <laughs> and what happens? Now, why can Jack not get very far away? Yeah, it's painful, right? So how far does he get? Now, they're in the forest or somewhere, so ideally Sally would run away at an angle of 180, but maybe there's trees in the way. What angle does she run away at? And how far does she get? 80 yards. And the angle here is going to be 150 degrees. So now the question is, how far does she get? Is she able to get more than 100 yards, or does she become dinner? 
Okay, there's our picture. Discuss law of sines, law of cosines. Go. Brandon, what are you thinking? Uh, How come? Well, let's uh, let's talk about what do you know? What's given to you right here? What combination of sides and angles? We have a side, side, and the an angle between them. So side, angle, side, right? If we have a side angle side, what's the only thing we can use? Law of cosine. So you were correct. This will be a law of cosine to solve for this missing side here. All right, so who can tell me how you're going to set that up? I'll give you a high two. You want it, Hiram? You're looking at me like you want it. Okay, then Tao's got it. Go ahead, Tao. Well, so hold on, that's for area of the triangle. Oh. We're trying to find the missing side using the law of cosines. So, they're, although they both use side angle side, it's going to be slightly different. So, going back to law of cosines last time, she wanted that height too, sorry. But if you remember, does anyone remember law of cosines? Go ahead, Mikhail. Uh, so I have um, x squared plus um, Yep, whatever we want it to be, yep. Sorry, I messed up as I was going. 28 times 80 times a cosine of 150. That is correct. Nice job, Mikkel. So then what am I going to do, guys? Heads up. Puzza. Yeah, that's why I'm not on baseball. Put in your calculator. Keep in mind that that's going to be the distance squared. So then what are you going to need to do? Not square it. There we go. Okay, I got x squared was 11063. 11,063, you guys agree with that? So what is this square root? Who's got it for me? Did Sally make it? Sally is not dinner. Okay. Jack, come on. You need to have a lunar calendar on your phone to like give you warnings or something. Okay. Hey, law of cosines. Fun, right? All right, now scroll down. Or, well, flip the page over. I need another dramatic reader. Josh did such a good job. Anyone else want to volunteer? Or I'll just call on someone. Brenda? No, Angelina. I was like, wait, who are you pointing to? Angelina, come on, you were in the play. You can read with drama. Go ahead. Epic story problem, right? Now, I actually drew this one out for you because I didn't think it would be fair for me to, like, 
try to draw a Wolverine and have him look totally stupid. So here's Wolverine or Cyclops. What do we know? What's given in this problem? Okay, so I know Wolverine to Magneto is 50 degrees. And then we've got um, Cyclops to, or wait, Cyclops to Magneto is 35 degrees. And then I'm told that Wolverine and Cyclops are 40 meters apart. Does that sound good? Now, what is the problem trying to find here? The height of Magneto. Okay, so now let's pause and let's think about this. What combination of angles and sides are given? What law could we use? And will that help us find H? I'm going to let you stew on this for 20 seconds. Talk to your neighbor. What do you think is a good first step? you have a good game plan? Hiram, what do you think is a good first step? Um, first, you find the measure of the angle, like the last angle. Uh, how are you going to find that? Like, D180 minus the other. <laughs> so that'd be 180 minus 85, which is 95. So this angle up here is 95. Okay, cool. Now we know all the angles. That's great. Well, now, how can I figure out one of the other sides? It's not a right triangle, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to use law of sines, law of cosines. Can we use law of cosines here? When can we use the law of cosines? Side angle side or side side side? Do we have either? No. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to use the law of sines. All right. Now the question is, which side do you want to find? Does it matter? Not really. Let's, let's actually do this. I'm going to call this angle C. That would make this side C. Angle W for Wolverine. And then this would be angle M for Magneto. Uh, let's find W. Okay, let's just make this easy on ourselves. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find W. The question is, which letter do we know both the side and angle of? So we know Magneto. Now, if we're finding a side, do we put sides or angles on top? So I'm going to do W over sine of W equals M over sine of M. And then we're going to fill that in. So we don't know the distance W, which is from Cyclops to Magneto. But we do know the angle W is 50 degrees. And then M is the distance between Cyclops and Wolverine, that's 40. And the angle of M is 95 degrees. Okay, do you guys agree with how I've got this set up? If I'm going to solve for W, what do I just need to do now? Times the sine of 50 on both sides. So will you guys go and on your calculator do 40 times the sine of 50 over the sine of 95? That should give us W. When someone has it, 40 sine of 50 over sine of 95, shout it out, what'd you get? 30.8? Yeah. Does that work? And these are, are these yards or meters? What did we say before? Meters. Awesome. Okay, now that's this distance right here. Did that answer the question we're trying to answer? No, we needed to find the height. Now, let's do this. If you're like, well, what do I do now? Let's draw this triangle right here. What kind of triangle is this? It's a right triangle. You know the angle is 35. What else do you know about this triangle? 
got the hypotenuse right here, right? Isn't that what you just found? What are you trying to find? Do you have enough information you can do that? Because if it's a right triangle, what can you use? So, Katoa, remember we talked about that earlier? All right, so what I want you to do is now I want you to solve this with your neighbor. I want you to um, figure it out. Would I use sine, cosine, or tangent, and then solve for the height? Or else, Magneto's going to take all the atomic bombs in the world will be destroyed, except for mutants. And I don't think, is anyone in here a mutant? You wouldn't out yourself anyway, right? Okay, good, you're smart. Okay, go, solve it. Let's call on Ofa. Ofa, can you kind of explain your thought process and what we're doing so far? Sorry, I couldn't hear that. Say a little louder. Was 30.8 times the sine of 35 degrees. That's going to be meters. So now Cyclops knows how high off he is off the ground. He knows the angle, knows the distance. He's able to aim his, his laser beam accurately. He strikes Magneto. He falls to the floor. They quickly, while he's unconscious, move him to a prison where there is no magnets or metal of any kind, and the world is saved at least until Mystique ruins everything and breaks him out of jail, right? But at least for the time being, we're safe. Cool beans? Awesome. Thanks for responding appropriately. Okay, here's what I need you to do. Get out your Chromebook. Why did you say, ah? <laughs> what if I was going to say, play games for the next 30 minutes? But you're not. But I'm not. You are correct. Get out your Chromebook. You are going to, it's not a stupid quiz. Well, I think I agree. It's a hate crime. No, it's not. Well, I hate it. I agree. Oh, it's still recording. All right. Let's pause.